and what is up everybody Jeremy here excited to bring you another Starfield ship building video today we have the Woodlander coming at ya this is an asymmetrical design and yes if you like this build don't forget you can find all the ship parts used in it found in the Google Sheet which is linked in the description below of course if you like this video as well don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out this is a glitched ship build you can find a nice little guide that we um that shares all the glitches that we like to use and more examples on how we can use them and deploy them but yeah even even now i'm creating some or figuring out some new ideas with them as well but yes here it is guys and two quick things i decided to give it a face can you see it can you see it you see the eyes right here eyes eyebrows right and here's the, here's the mouth and on top of that there's also if i mean if i painted this yellow here i'm gonna paint it yellow right now i'm gonna paint it yellow i'm gonna paint this thing yellow just so you can see it this guy in the middle looks like your little lego man totally looks like a lego man now that you see it you can't unsee it but yeah and i mean lego man and if you add in like the radiator in the back it kind of looks like a like Toad from Super Mario Brothers. Anyway, let's get to this build. So playing around with asymmetrical designs. So yes, glad you're able to follow me on this journey. I'm gonna share my journey if I'm experimenting on something, and maybe it doesn't stick. Or I'm gonna, I'm, I'll publish it anyway. <laughs> I'll publish it anyway, because like it's part of my journey as like as I try to figure out some cool designs using or trying out some different designs. But yeah, let's split this up into. To what though? I guess our three main sections is this side, the whole middle here, and this side. All right, so let's start off with a place that has the docker, or that docker, the um, the landing bay. It's gonna be this side. Let's see if we can grab everything. I think everything's grabbed. Pull to the side. Cool. And then we're just gonna take this side and move it over. We'll just move it over. Break it down one by one. All right, starting with the cockpit side. We're gonna bring over our 120 LD landing bay. Right on top of that, we have the Hope Tech All in One Berth. Oh, I should I should have brought this out further. A little bit further. All right. We have the one the Hope Tech All in One Berth two by one. In front of that, we have the Armstrong 10 cockpit. Beneath the Hope Tech All in One Berth, we have a 110 DP Docker, and on top of the Hope Tech on one berth, there is a Deimos Cowling and it's four orientation. Behind that, we have a Deimos Storeroom one by one, and it has two windows, one on the top and one on the side. Portholes. Bring that over. Right behind that, has Stroud Cap A and it's port aft, um, port aft top orientation. And under, like right behind the docker, we're gonna bring over the Stroud Cap A and it's port aft bottom orientation. And then we'll bring over a Hope Tech Riser B and bring it over to the side right here. And we're gonna use the flip glitch to flip this Nova Cowling in because it is clipping the um, Hope Tech Riser. So to use the flip glitch, one, you need to have the module already in the work area, all right? So if you bring it in for the first time and you didn't place it yet, and you try to go through the flip glitch, it'll just remove the item. Same thing if you duplicate an item. If you've duplicated an item, but you haven't placed officially placed it in the work area, it will just remove it. So. Bring it in, make sure it's already in the work area. Two, make sure there's an available snapping point for it to snap to. And then three, make sure you're able to flip it. All right, now this piece has both uh, a means to flip it and to go through our variation. So I'm tapping Z to flip it. And then on the keyboard, I'm tapping the arrow key to go through its variations. On a controller, you want to show how to do it on a controller, you can tap A to select it and then you tap Y to flip it and you tap the directional pad to go through its variations. So you have both of these options to move this piece in here. So what you gotta do uh, on keyboard and mouse, bring it in, flip it once, then twice, or what, how many variations or how many different um, orientations you need to go through to get back to the orientation you want. Then escape the movement by tapping escape or tab. Flip it. I moved the mouse, escape it, and then double click the section to make sure everything is connected and everything is. I'll do the same thing with controller, but this time I'm gonna use the variation glitch. So I'm gonna bring it in, go through the different variations you go through back to its original um, orientation that you want, then tap B to escape it, tap LB to make sure everything's in place and everything is, hit and escape, 
And there you go, we have the cockpit side. Now building on to the cockpit side, we have a lot going on here. We are going to bring over the um, one. We're gonna bring over an S204 Galleon. We're gonna bring over a 1G NG20 landing gear in its wide orientation. And we're gonna bring over, sort of bring over um, these two Nova Calling 2 LNSP port, port orientation. No, you can't do that. <laughs> Let's bring over these two big, big pieces. We got the Hope Tech Captain's Quarters and the, car, the Hope Tech Cargo Hall 2x3s. Bring all that over. All that over. All right, it's a lot. Right behind the Ed Galleon S204 cargo hold will be a Deimos belly in its aft orientation. And then continuing on, we have more cargo holds. You see, I saw that this was glitched in. So these are glitched in, so I'm just gonna pull all of them out real quick. Yeah, let me pull all these guys out. See how many there are. All right, so this aligns back here. So I had two of these. All right, so I have two of those. And what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna just continue on. I need to move these guys out, break them apart. So I'm at, currently at the landing pad of Shipbuilder. I purchased these at, um, I think Hopetown. Hopetown, because I'm using this Hope Tech cargo hall, so there's only a, there's a Hopetown item as well. And what I'm gonna do is glitch these into place and bring it over. Yep. What I'm gonna have to do. So think about order. Um, we have two of these pieces glitch in. We have these pieces of glitch in, and then we can continue on building to the side or like towards the middle. That's what we'll do. Or maybe the, we'll save the middle for the last. Like build it all the way to the end. Maybe we'll build it. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll go straight to the end, to the, from side to side, and finish off the middle. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, so we're, we're first things first, we're gonna what we're gonna do. This is gonna be this is gonna be glitched in. We're gonna merge that in with the engines. So what I want to do is just create a helper buddy, or like a helper module. The helper module is gonna be anything. It could be I'll, I'll use this here. Duplicate it twice, set it in, and then delete these guys. Make sure you just keep one or two. Keep two of them, and then I'm going to make my Buddy stack, so I have the duplication buddy glitch lined up here. I'm gonna copy these two. So here's my buddy stack, one on the bottom, one on top. Um, so for the duplication buddy glitch to work, one, you need to be able to duplicate the module you want to merge into something else and have it share a snapping point with each other. With, um, yeah, have a, have a shared snapping point. Two, you need to have, yeah, you, have that, you need to have a clear path to the snapping point you want it to move to so that's why i have these helpers here to make sure that like you could have i mean you could duplicate floating but then if it's not aligned it will not merge correctly so you have your helpers here to set up the orientation to where you can easily drop it down or move it up into the spot you want it to be in and three you need a helper module and the module needs to have a top and bottom snapping point i've already duplicated two of these and had them on top of each other because I want to move it down. So what happens is that for any kind of duplication glitch, and maybe a flip glitch too, it likes to move into an available sno um, snap point, uh, open and available snap point first. So what I'm trying to do is like, if I have this one up here, right? If I try to duplicate both of these up, it likes to move up first. I want to move it down. So what I'm trying to do is block it. So any any snapping point to above it, so I force it down. So I'm going to select the, um, the engine, Shift click drag to select the companion way and hit control G to duplicate it down. It did perfect. I need to do it one more time. I'm going to delete the one. I'm going to delete these two pieces up top. So the only way, only place it can go now, on, even on this side, is down. So I, I removed all the open um, snapping points. And this time I'm going to show you how to do it on controller. I'm going to take it and select the engine by tapping RB and select my bottom module by tapping. R, B as well, and tap Y to duplicate it, then tap A to accept it, and then I'm gonna duplicate it one more time, oops, duplicate it one more time, tap R, B, tap R, B, and make sure your cursor is over the modules that you wanna duplicate or it'll just not show. Yeah, see, you can see that my options are disappearing. So make sure your cursor's over it, tap Y again, and duplicate it down, tap A to accept it, then go ahead and 
delete the pieces you know that piece you no longer need and then delete your stack but yeah as you can see there should be one two and three there. perfect i'm just going to undo these to make sure it goes back to its correct spot perfect and there we go and what i'm going to do is that um i'm going to duplicate this whole set so i'm going to just hit I'm just, going to, I'm just going to double click it or on the controller tap RB and duplicate it. So on keyboard, I hit control G and for your controller, you just tap Y and move it to the side. So here, I have two sets of three available. Cool. So yeah, and you needed to have that helper. You needed to have that, that module attached to it or you wouldn't be able to just copy the whole thing. So if I try to double click here, nothing's going to happen. I only, I'm only able to select one. But if I have one here, and I double click on this whole set, it selects the whole set. So that is a key point for you. So first things first, I'm going to take this off, bring over the Hope Tech Captain's Quarters, attach it to the engines, double click, and then move it into its spot. So that's, that's how I roll with that piece. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to use this guy. No, I can't use that guy. I can't use that guy. I need to have this guy. So I'll move it over. We have the battle stations up top so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is delete this guys get it connected to the engine double click selected all the pieces and move it to the top spot over here perfect and I'm gonna move over the demo spelly and then what I need to do with these guys I need to merge this up so I have my buddy stack still here cool I'm going to shift click drag these two or control you just tap RB on both of those shift click drag on this guy control G to duplicate it it duplicate it down for us that's fine there's an open and available spot to the bottom of this that's fine now it's closed off the only way it can go now is up and it did perfect so I'll delete these guys nice nice all right continuing on um, to the front of these, we're gonna bring over the Nova Cowling. Why that? Why that feel wrong? <laughs> it's like, why did that feel wrong? Is everything connected still? No, this is not connected. Oh, it needs this go. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself now. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right, I'm gonna bring over the Stroud Cap A on top. We're gonna glitch these guys in later. Um, we're gonna move over this guy though. Oh, this guy goes right here. Yep, that guy's right there. Bring over the Hope Tip Cap A on top. We have the porthole. Make sure the eye is in there. Let's get the porthole on the other side as well. Two portholes. Uh, we can build this out. Let's bring out the Hope Tech Science Lab and the Hope Tech storeroom up in the front. And then we, on the bottom of it, we have the Hope Tech workshop and another storeroom. So I'm gonna ship the drag and get these guys out, perfect. And I already brought over a ballast cargo. Let's do it on the other side. And I have a porthole as well. This is gonna connect to the storeroom. It's like, what is this connecting to? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I see. No wonder. Got it. Yeah, let's keep on building out. Let's bring over these two NG20 landing gear. Bring it to the side. Or not that side, to the middle. There we go. Let's brought it over to the middle. All right. Um, continuing the build, let's go ahead and bring over these two cargo holds. There we go. 200 CM ballast cargo holds. Towards the top, let's bring over the Stroud Cap A and then the Hope Tech. And get, oh, I had a I had a shield there. All right. Let's go ahead and variation glitch that in. So I'm gonna bring it over. Oh I can't variation glitch it in yet. Yeah, I can't do it yet. Um What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the middle. Continue. Landing gear to the bottom. We have our two Nova Cowlings to the sides. And by the way, I just need to remember to get this guy in. We have a PBO 300 auto alpha turret glitched in there. So I'm just I'm just gonna pull it out so I remember to do that. 
and we did the same thing on the other side. Just FYI, the same thing will be done on the other side. Okay, just remember that. Take note. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's continue. We have the top. We have two Hope Tech radiators right here or right there. It's right there. We have this in the back. We have a Teo Cowling, a SF40 sheared flow reactor, and a Teo Cowling on the bottom. Bring it to the back. Everything's still connected, good. The only way I could, so I had something here. So I, I, I think I had something there. So I need to flip glitches in. So I'm gonna flip it or variation glitch it in. Okay, not variation glitch. Flip glitch, all right, flip glitch keeps it on top. Cancel the movement when you get to the right spot. Double click, make sure everything's good, nice. Bring that over. Now to the front we have these three pieces. We have the Demo Spine D, Demo Spine C, and Demo Spine A. Bring it all over. <clears throat> then we have these pieces we glitch in. We have these pieces that we glitch in. So we can bring that apart. Uh Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's like it's like this doesn't this wouldn't work unless there's one of those in there. Yeah, that's right. So it is in there. Perfect. Let's bring over the porthole on the other side. We have these guys to flip glitch in right here. Uh, there, there's a module blocking it or interfering with it. Let me move this out. So once again, it likes to move to open slot first. It likes to move to open slot. So if you move the open slot, then it has nothing to move to. Oh! Yeah. And I'll use the variation glitch then. Oh, didn't like that either. What are you trying to... Oh, it's trying to attach something on the other side. See that? Oh, yeah, look at that. Wait, where's the... Wait, how did it do that? Oh, that's got... This guy's not connected. Alright, now it's connected. Wait, this guy connected too? Uh-oh. Oh! Well... All right, there we go. <laughs> it's like, it's like things are not connecting. We're lacking connection. There. There. Solving problems, everybody. Solving problems. That's what it's all about. Okay, moving on. Let's bring over. We have these merged pieces over here too. Let's bring over the NGG landing gear on the bottom. And another one over. Perfect. And then we need to bring, we need to merge in like all this stuff. So let's go bring in the Nova weapon mount. We have the, we have two PBO 300 auto alpha turrets facing the back and two PBO one, or four PBO 175 auto helium beams facing the front. I like having. I mean, if you don't like the idea of your turrets shooting through your ship, then of course you can move it and move it accordingly. I like it having all the way to the front because it increases the range of where it can fire and shoot. Like if you have it way in the back, then that's where it will turn and that's where your angle will start, right? But if you have it all the way to the front and it's facing the back, then it has that wider range that it can fire. So that's why I like it. Ha like to have it there, but it's totally up to you where you want to go, all right? Let's bring over a hope tech thruster. We need to use a duplication buddy glitch to move it down. So I'll select the thruster, select my bottom uh, buddy on the stack, duplicate it, duplicate it down. Perfect. Delete, double check everything. Everything looks good. Let's move over a Nova Bracer now. Select the Bracer, select the bottom module, duplicate, duplicate it down. Perfect. And then we have, um, then we have, which should I move first? I guess it doesn't matter. I'll move this guy out, duplicate this one up. I'll move over a Domus Cowling and its four orientation, then move over Nova Cowling and a duplication buddy glitch it down. Flip glitch is not available for that piece. Perfect. Then let's move over to Nova Cowling to the bottom. There we go. That's Nova Cowling 2L in its bottom four orientation. Then we have the Nova Cowling 2L in its bottom mid orientation. And the beautiful or the interesting thing about these Nova or NG20 landing gear, Nova Galactic 20 landing gear is that it only has a top snapping point. That means I can use the available snapping point right here in the back 
to flip glitch these guys into. So we're gonna bring it in, put once or twice, cancel it, cancel the movement, and it's in there. Then we have one more right here. I'm gonna bring this in. See, it gets a snap, flip once or twice, cancel it, and it's in there, perfect. Nice. Then we're gonna move this guy off, bring this guy back in. Yeah. So yeah, I needed a helper here to help my duplication buddy glitch, so there you go. Last set of pieces, everybody. We are almost there. There's probably a better way to do this. Oh, I forgot to move to get this guy in. Alright, so let's go ahead and move these guys out first. And what I'm going to do is set up... I'll just move this guy down. So duplication buddy glitch this guy. All right. I can just duplicate, use the regular duplication glitch because these two points on the side here are open. So I'm just going to select it, Control G, to duplicate it down, and then duplicate it down again, or Y on the controller. Set the movement, and it's already in there. Perfect. But this guy's not. What's wrong with you? All right, now you're in there. All right, good. Move this forward. Move this back. Or, let me see. So one thing I need to do now is just have these spacers. I'm going to put these spacers in here. Move these in. We have two of these Hope Tech pipes and... So, so Hope Tech pipes and the Hope Tech pipe in its F door or F. Hope Tech F. Wait. Hope Tech pipes A and then just Hope Tech pipes. All right. Delete your helpers to get these guys in position. Move over your Hope Tech cap A's back in place. Then I'm just going to select all of these and just use a duplication glitch to duplicate it down. Perfect. So the free and available open spot, by the way, was right here. So right behind the Stroud cap A. Like these Hope Tech cap A's only have a snap point on the bottom. So that was the the means to move it down. Cool. We are almost done, guys. So let's see. What should we do first? Should we just do the gun? Let's do the PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turret. This is one thing that I, I really like doing. So I'm going to move this off first. Bring this to the side. All right. So I'm going to duplicate this down and duplicate it inside the Nova Cowling. So what I need to do is duplicate one of these guys first and cover the one on the bottom because of what happens if I just hit the du duplicate. Or because I'm using a duplication buddy glitch. So if I use the duplication buddy glitch to duplicate down, it goes all the way down to the bottom first. So what I want to do is cover it up, then select the PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turret, then select the Nova Bracer on the bottom. So shift click drag to select the Nova Bracer, then duplicate it. It duplicated inside the Nova Cowling. All right. So it's in there. So it's basically topping, taking the top side of that little snap point right there. Which is fine. I like it. And for Zip, I like to hide those for some reason. I, I don't like it out visually right now. I try to avoid it, like seeing it visually. Cool. Final stretch, everybody. We have this bad boy to line up. Let's bring it. Let's get started. Let's move over the Stroud Cap A to the top and Stroud Cap A towards the bottom and then bring the Hope Tech Riser to the side. We're going to flip glitch this guy in. Perfect, right in the middle. Nice. Um, this guy needs to be flipped in too, so let's move it to the side first. Let's go ahead and start off with this guy. Let's move it in. Um, then we move in. We'll move in the noble weapon mount, and then we have the we have this guy. So let's go ahead and set that up. Duplicate it because we want to duplicate it down. Oh wait, let's do let's do the thruster first. So we set up the alignment, we're going to merge this down, so these guys are sharing the same point here. I'm going to create a buddy stack with the Nova Bracer. I'm going to use this multiple times here. So just click, select the thruster, select the bracer, duplicate it down. Perfect, delete. Get another one of these bracers, move it into place, because one of these bracers need to move in here to help get the um, get an attachment spot for these guys. Click this, shift, click, drag, duplicate it. Oh, duplicate it up first. It's fine. Only place it can go down now is down. Duplicate it down. Perfect. Then Q 
keep this right here. I'm going to keep it right here. I'm going to move in the Deimos Kelling. Move it up top. That's going to be alignment. And then remove this guy. Then bring over the Nova Kelling. Flip it. Oh, wait. No need to flip. Just bring it in. Click the Kelling. Shift click drag the bottom bracer on your buddy stack. And there you go. Set. Now for the bottom. Or let's attach Horizon Weapon Mount. Connect it to the... Um, the 500T HU3 tank. Oh, by the way, this Nova weapon mat already had four Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors attached to it. <laughs> it's like, I missed that point. All right, so that's that. Oops, 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 oops. All right, next part, all you need to do is to flip. Flip glitch slats, that's pieces. So we're going to move the Nova Kaling. We have a Demo Skeg A, or a Demo Skeg B. Move it over, then move over the Demo Skeg A. Let's double click, make sure everything's good. Everything's not good. <laughs> Should have checked that first, Jeremy. What's missing here? Wow, a lot of that. So let's go ahead and move this out first. So what's not lining up? Ooh, this guy's not lining up. That's a big oops, oops, oops. Right, so let's take this guy out. All right, reset just a little bit here. Uh, I was, okay, let me undo. <laughs> I pulled out a little bit more than intended. Let's just get the Nova Bracer. There you go. Move the Nova Cal or the Damus Calling. Get our buddy stack up again. Bring over this guy. Bring over. Oh, I need to drop one in here first. That's right. I moved the Nova Bracer out. Let's move it back in. Double click, make sure everything's still good. Everything's, wait, what is that? What was that? All right, that's good. Thought I saw something. Freaked me out. All right, can move this out. Move this guy back in. Duplicate this bad boy down. Delete, double click. What? Wait, why is this guy not lying still? He's been through this. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, it's not. Oh, this wasn't aligned in the first place. All right, I'm gonna double check alignment before you do this duplication. Good. Good. All right. They're aligned. Duplicate it down. Still aligned. All right. Good. Oh, I need that one. Move over the Demos Kaling on top. Delete this guy. Move over the Nova Kaling. Or, yeah, Nova Kaling. Then Demos Kaling. Duplicate it down. Perfect. Delete. Check. We're good. Move over the Demo Skeg A, then bring over the Nova Cowling. Flip glitch that in. There we go. And the reason why, so like these Skegs only have a top snap, snapping point. So there's a snapping point available behind the Stroud Cap A. So that's what I was using there. There. All right, let's fix this guy. This guy didn't line up. Yeah. Click, make sure that's good, nice. Still good? Still good. Delete this guy. Move over the Hope Tech Cafe. So this is just only for aesthetic purposes to create this little texture. That's what I wanted. Just create a little texture there. Duplicate it down. Double click. Make sure everything's still good. Perfect! We are set. Boom! Hey, there we go, everybody. That is your woodlander. Wood woodlander. Woodlander. Wood. <laughs> Not woodlander. 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 <laughs> All right, let's go take a tour. Okay. Woodlander. Hey, woodlander. I'm going to board you. And you're crazy eyes and the crazy dude up here can you see it can you see it 
Can you see it? Because once you do... Oh, I didn't move. Once you do, you can't unsee it. See it? He's like lounging right now. Hey. Alright. Let's go take this tour. Enter the Woodlander. Woodlander. Yeah. Alright. Here we are. We've entered and in, into the um, all one hab. This is Hope Tech. Over here we have our docker. And over here they have a cockpit. We'll go into this place last. So let's go inside. Let's open the door here. And we are in our big, huge 2x3 cargo hold. Yeah, yes we are. Yes we are. To the front, here's that little nose area. The bottom nose, or yeah, it's starting to, at the bottom. We have our workstation here. And then we have its own little storeroom for everyone working in the workshop area. Yep, yep. Get to work. All this cargo here. Yeah, yep. yep. No, no, nothing you can help me with. Alright, let's go climb up now. And we are into the battle stations. So right by the cargo hole is a battle station. Alright, and there's our right eye. Hey. And then to the left we have our the nose and then here's the captain's quarters to the other side. Captain's quarters here. This is where all the magic happens. And it also has the left eye to peek out of. Pretty cool. And the captain's quarters also has its own personal storeroom with another lookout on this side. Yep. Yep. Digging it. Let's go into the top side of the nose. This is where we have our science labs. And then we have another storeroom just for the science lab, but it has a view. That's right. The workshop, you work. The science lab, you science. And this is one way of science is to look. And here you have a nice view of the cockpit as well. So you can observe him and run science on him through observation. There we go, guys. That is your Woodlander. Let's go ahead and take a seat what in the cockpit. And let's go ahead and bring out our battle fun music. We're going to have to do this. Don't forget, you can find all the parts we used in this build found in Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like our video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Let's do this. Hope I reset Cricks. <laughs> I don't know. I think I did. We're using the PBO 175 Ber um, Vanguard Obliterate Opera Projector and PBO 300 Auto Turret setup. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Firing off. Still okay. Two more. Shields are recharging. Vanguard. Vanguard and then. Alright, we see. Vanguard firing off. So it's the same, and then people went to 75 auto helen beams. Alright, this is a bigger the air same area. But from here, you know that, alright, that's the Vanguard on the far right, and PBO 175 in the middle. Alright, cool. Let's go take this bad boy to Serpentis.
and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Let's find some hostile activity. Oh, looks like we have a revelation in front of us. Oh, it was only two? Let's find another set. Show yourselves. Do it now. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? Nobody? Oh, there it is. It's just one. Yeah, that's how it went. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, let, let's let the auto turrets handle it. Like seeing this, I was, I've been using the complete particle beam, like main focus weapon loadout. It feels faster right now. It feels faster than um, than having a turret in your loadout. But we'll make that comparison sometime. Come on, manual fire. He's zooming away. No luck. Alright, but I think that calls it. I think we'll call that a video. <laughs> I think it calls it a video. <laughs> I think we'll call that video. Hope you enjoyed the Woodlander. Yeah. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, you can find all the parts we used in this build found in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. And sending on the hearts as well, everyone. Thank you so much for all love and support. As always, without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon. Peace.